Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, a.k.a. Hollywood J. Black, live in the building once again, back with another Sinful Black Reacts. I got my mans, my main mans, Big MF and sit in the building. How you doing today, sir? Man, I'm about to get up and do a Ric Flair strut, but then I remember Tommy Dreamer talking about his hammer and... Bob Van Dam talking about this man could do the helicopter, so I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> I am doing well. It is the weekend. It is um, Grimo Saturday here, and I know people have seen the post where I announced what's going on next week with the wicked shit all week. The cipher will be a Magic Ninja cipher, but that afternoon we have a grind mode, a grind mode rapper who's on Magic Ninja, Gibby Stites. We have one of his music videos in the afternoon, so grind mode will still be represented. On set. Yes, yes, that is right. We got a ton of stuff on deck for you all week amongst the usual stuff that we have for you. So don't you fret. The best thing about Sinful Black is that we always got something for you no matter what. You know, we, we, we like to keep it Rizzo and keep it Trizzo. So these Soda City fucking ciphers have been just being monstrous over the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And so, I was, so and I just saw Seven dropped rec recently. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which will be done in two weeks since we got the Magic Ninja one next week. So, yep. Um, or whatever else you guys come out with before then, you non work, you non stop working motherfuckers, you over there, Grind Mode. <laughs> shakes, shakes angry old man fist at you. But um, as of recording right now, we are recording this on Hollywood J. Black's birthday. Welcome to level 40. We are glad to have you here, my friend. Tama, Tama. Holy water. Sprinkle me, man. <laughs> no, no, no more sprinkles because your knees go out. Ah, wow. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm the OG with two bad knees. But it's okay. It's okay. We just keep it pushing. Um, Hopefully not me in a wheelchair. Just don't push me in a wheelchair. Um, the, I'm not going to be on a wheelchair. I'm going to be on the, one of those hover around scooters. Talk about, come fly with me. Come fly. Let's fly away. But before we get too sidetracked, we got to knock out this cipher here. Mm. I was in the middle of a drink. Yes! The best part of Saturdays is Cypher Saturdays. And we love grind mode. And we love doing these grind mode ciphers. These are... They, they have ranged anywhere from great to absolutely fucking bonkers. Um, I haven't been disappointed. One of them recently actually got all 20s. So yeah. Every fucking rapper on the goddamn thing. Jesus, that, that one blew me away. I'm still blown away by that one. It's hard. It's going to be hard to to even top that one, y'all. I don't even know how they're going to do it. So, um, But, you know, they always find a way to impress us. And the greatest part about it is is that they're doing it without featuring uh, major independent artists. This is all in the click. Local, either local artists or their own grimo artists. Different beats every time. And we break it down like this. They, they just dropped Soda City Volume 6. For y'all that don't know the deal, we're going to give y'all the deal. It's very simple. Each artist, we're going to rank 1 through 10. Um, if they suck, we'll tell you that they suck. If they're awesome, we'll tell you that they're awesome. If they're in between, we'll tell you what we're in between. Will we nitpick? I will. Big Sin, not so much. Sometimes. Sometimes. You will, we, have one, we have one simple rule, no low-hanging fruit. You know what I'm saying? COVID. Yes. Yes. There's certain low hanging fruit. If we hear a freestyle about Ric Flair, you know what I'm saying? That's low hanging I actually, fruit. I actually might that my uh boost side went up because he's got the hammer. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> if they're talking about he has a helicopter ding and ling like Ric Flair, then you know, if we hear that on the cipher, that's low hanging fruit. I don't know. I, yeah, it is I, theoretically and probably physically low hanging fruit. <laughs> He said, "Do you now? You know why they call him the Nature Boy? Uh, what? Yeah, fucking Rob Van and Rick Flair got mad at Rob Van Dam for that shit too. <laughs> Tommy Dreamer got his ass suspended from his fucking job. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. 
So, no low-hanging fruit, y'all. That's the only rule that we have, low-hanging fruit. But we're going to always keep it 100 with you. Always 24-7, 365. So, with that said, Big Sinny Sin Sin, are you ready? Well, yes, I'm also ready for these peeps to click that link in below and get you some air freshening. That's right. Yeah, just, as long as you're not strutting around naked like Ric Flair in your car. No, uh, but just, just and if you are, and if you are, you can hang out air fresher from your hammer. <laughs> hang it from the hammer, baby. Woo! Ride fresh. All right. So without further ado. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to hell. Uh, unfortunately, sir, we all are, according to yeah, the, the book. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Anyways, this is Grind Mode Cypher, Soda City, Volume 6. Right here on Sinful Black Reacts. Let's go. Uh-huh. Grime old cipher. I like this beat right here though. So the city. Rock on the beat. Only after the root of evil. Fame is a drug and I seen what it do to people. Turns them into fiends like a junkie you shoot a needle. This the lion's den, try to beg my crew will eat you. We bruising egos up at echelon. Every verse is top tier. Once the weapon drawn, shots disperse. I do not care. Disrespect the dawn in the dirt. You can rot there. Just the septicons acting hard, but I spot fair. The executioner here for his retribution. It's clear there's a better movement. Prepare for the revolution. Too scared so they never do shit. Wonder what they frontin' for The rumble in my stomach sounding louder than the thunder roar uh. What's the score? No, I'm winning cause I want it more Rust the door, you on life support, cut the cord Think you top ten, the nine gon' get rid of ya Name a team stronger <laughs> than the Grimo Familia I mixed. Oh. Man, my man, my man came with a, a verse that's actually good enough to be on an album right there, Ooh. dog I, This is, listen, let's start, let's start first This is the top tier beat right here, right? Yes. Um, very much top tier. I can imagine a lot of artists on this beat that I would love to hear on this beat as it is. We haven't, we haven't even talked about the Grimo artists yet, right? So you know when you get a beat like this, that this beat, it sounds like a beat that needs to be on like the radio. Mm -hmm. You know you got to come hard. You got to come correct. And my man Kalata did exactly that. You know, I'm I, I, I'm giving bonus points. You know what I'm gonna give them bo bonus po ha, la, 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 bonus points for? What's that? Cause you know when you make a music video, you gotta lip sync the shit, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give him bonus points for the fact that, uh, like his lip sync sound like he was actually rapping it, like like he was at like 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 the microphone was right in your shit, cause he had the lip curls and everything enunciating all the shit that he was saying. See, I've noticed that's a few things that. And it's a, and it's not even a nit, it's a it's a positive nitpick, right? <laughs> you know we don't really do those positive nitpicks, but this is one of those. It's the little things, right? And it made me feel like it was it was a live performance and I was there, and that made me feel good. Um, but the verse itself was absolutely phenomenal. What did you think, sir? I thought it was very good. Like I said, it's a verse that you would hear on an album and it wouldn't feel out of place. Exactly. You know, some cipher, some cipher verses, what don't belong on albums. You know what I'm saying? Yes. yes. This one actually sounded like it could. Yes. yes. Um, I'm gonna drop my man a nine here on this one because do a solid. He knocked that shit out. I'm gonna give him the nine five just because of the enunciation. Give him that those bonus points. Positive nitpicking there. That's right. Little things. All right, who's next? Next up, we got the man Smeeg Scientist. Smeeg the scientist. Nope, no the. Just Smeeg Scientist. Oh, Smeeg Scientist. But that, I think the would have been a nice little thing. My nigga Smeeg the Scientist, but no, okay, Smeeg Scientist. We'll roll with it. I'm here James for it. Hollywood over here trying to dock you points because you ain't got so in your name. Right? No, I won't dock him points. Point two five, maybe. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Let's go. Chili, yeah. I mix pills with the chronic, then sip chill gin and tonics. Hit licks, dance with the devil when I'm feeling demonic. Then smash meals like Madonna. We pass bills like the Congress. Smoke rolls at the old, old smoke. Bill like it's haunted. If it's features you've wanted, I'll try to make it the hardest you've ever got from an artist. Now send it, let's get it started. But if you want to start shit, I'll turn you into a carcass while riding a beat like Aladdin on the flying carpet. Take the heads off, I'm on the wall, I'm hanging my keepsakes. An unmarked grave is how I 
I gave them a clean slate They had a better winning chance playing the sweepstakes It's going left on them, calm way to machine's face Shit on them when I make laps around this rat racetrack Hit the gas, leave skid marks and throw the deuce back Miss me with that chit chat, you'll last you when the kid's trapped What's that, a bitch making noise, yeah, big facts Oh, 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 oh. My man, my man said I would give you a clean slate on your gravestone. Man, he said so much smoke coming out the Oldsmobile, it looked like it's haunted. <laughs> like that shit. <laughs> like that's a lot of smoke. Woo! My man came off on that shit. Oh fuck, man. Um, this was it's like tennis, right? Colada served the shit. And why, and why homeboy looked like that dude Josh we used to know? I know, right? Nigga looking like Josh Fultz. <laughs> Shout out to Josh Fultz, nigga. I know. Yeah, he yeah he hit me up on Facebook the other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's grown, married with children yeah. and shit, nigga. Yeah, man. Good to see. We all grow up, I guess, right? I don't know. Yes, sir. I wouldn't yes, know sir. nothing about that. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> try, me and you try not to, but. Yeah, I know. It's... My kid about to be 15, so yeah. We, yeah, grown. I got a 13-year-old. You got a 15-year-old. Fuck, man. <laughs> okay. Right, so, so you get the ranking first on this one, my friend. It was as good as Kalada's verse, and I will give him credit for the punchline. So I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a nine five on this one. You gonna give him a nine five? Yeah, I'm gonna give him a nine five. No, I'm gonna join you. I'm gonna join you with that one. A nine five. The shit was fire. Yeah. I like his um, I like his style, his cadence, the flow, the punchline. Shit was fire. Yeah, yeah, this was top tier, sir. Top tier. All right. Next up, we have somebody by the name of Zazini. Zazini? Z Z I N I. Zazini. Zazini. I'll roll with are it. You a, are you a genie? <laughs> you said y'all niggas sleep with them Z's, nigga. All right, let's go. Life on a pen, I write death sentence. I ain't taste a loss, I digest lessons. Life is what you make it, make yourself first. Be the best in the worst, the blessings and the curse. I'm the lines on the street, the soul on the feet. No heading, introduction, I'm body in the beats. I drop bombs now, they radiate for weeks. My ops don't wanna see me, so they playing hide and seek. I see the beauty in the scars, strength in the flaws. I'm the secret ingredient, kicking up the sauce. You can't stop me in Emotion, that's a Isaac Newton law. Everybody wants effects, but they don't want to be the cause. Pause, let that line sink in. Breathe out, breathe in. It ain't about swimming, it's about sinking. Calm in the chaos, patient with the payoffs. And busier than ever on my day off. So wow, okay, okay. All right, okay. All right, um, this beat this beat works for all types of flow styles. Well, I will tell you that. See. You know what this reminded me of? Hmm. Year Year One Eminem, like first album, like Marshall, Marshall Mathers or yeah. the one before that? No, the uh, yeah Marshall is a, no the Slim Shady LP. No, I'm talking about okay Slim Shady or the one that he dropped before he signed with Dre. No, Slim Shady. So so Shady. Okay. Yeah. So I say Year One Shady. Not not necessarily the not necessarily like the the talent level, but the flow, or the, con or the, the cadence, or the content, or the content. Yeah, not the con yeah, not the content. Maybe the, the, the cadence and flow style. Um, mm -hmm. Not saying that he's copying them by any sense, no, but no, no, no. but because the way that this beat is designed, I think he chose that flow style, and because of that, it works because he didn't come soft on it. He had punchlines for days. He had punchlines no, no, no. in there. He had punchlines, but it also sounded like he was teaching you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't. It didn't feel out of place. So we we, we talk about just like Big Sin alluded to earlier, uh, y'all, when he said the, uh, the the this beat is working for all kinds of different flow styles. On any other beat, this the flow, the way that he flowed on it would fit out of place. But this, unless it was, unless it was a slower, more layered beat, then it would be fine. Yeah, but this, but this in of itself, the way that it's designed. With the weight that he cadence and he and he kind of he kind of chose to hit two and four, and then spit. Mm -hmm. I felt like uh, what's that shit? Oh, I got another one for you. Who we be by DMX? Yeah. That's what it felt like. There we go. That's a better analogy. I will give him punchlines were the biggest, the heaviest thing for me. 
I'm gonna give him an eight five. Yeah, I'm gonna join you there. Um, my man, my man's got some skill. He, he just, and I like the way he presented it because it looked like he was just talking to you, having a conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I and I actually like I like that shit. Yeah. So yeah, eight, eight five eight two. So next up, we got a cat named Hydro. Hydro. We got a nigga named Hydro. All right, come on, Hydro. About to bring that liquid flame, Hydro. Let's get it. H-Y-D-R-O, by the time I'm done, bet you remember the name I'm dripping slush, so I'll extinguish your flame And one of the coldest niggas out here, y'all don't see yet But I'm changing the game, don't change your mind, court nigga better stay in your lane I damn near got a pilot's license, shout out to Wiz If it's two things I love, it's getting paper and flying them planes Bang, I got you, pulled it from my pocket Bang again two times, yeah, there's socket If you can tell, I play around a lot, but I keep it rocking Flying the flow with no shirt on, I'm trying to heat up until my metaphors and hip hop it Uh, yeah, I see your heads bopping, speakers knocking and you blasting me Hold up, slow it down Got excited, nigga Reduce the speed I'm in a rush Like I'm driving on the highway In a tank on E And you know a nigga Always do it the highway Cause I love my weed Gotta bounce out of town I'ma take the highway We don't do those streets What's up there for me You gotta do it my way Or you can beat your feet Shout out to DC I'm- Okay, okay, okay Okay, alright hmm. I, li- I like that he changed his style In the verse a couple times Yes uh, he flipped back and forth, back and forth, and he made the he made the him switching styles part of the verse itself. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. Hold on, let me let me let me slow down. I like that. Gets the bonus on that one. Yeah, that's creative right there. I like that shit. I like that shit. Um, I'm gonna also give my man's. I'm gonna give my man's an eight five. Uh, reason being is that he, if you caught the content of what he was saying, the punchline was real, and I can admire the fact that he's still doing this, and apparently he actually has a pilot license. Apparently that's kind of the the whole thing. So, and you know, talk- yeah, the, he, I think it was a Wiz Khalifa reference there too. True. In the, in the beginning of that? True. So, yeah, I'm going to join you on that one. I yeah. like that. Um, Cat's got talent, man. He's still solid. Yeah. I, I I can appreciate the talent level that we have so far, and he and two cats that we haven't heard before, which is impressive. The three, well, three, Steve, Zazini, and Hydro. Oh yeah, these are all new cats. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Well, we're gonna have to make a habit out of making sure they're not new cats. Let's uh, uh we got my man's in the building. Well, on the in the description, it only said Lagoon, but this is a very familiar, a very familiar logo here. Well, yeah. I mean, it could be Lagoon, but it, it, now we have two rappers left, right? Well, no, it only said it only showed six in the description. Well, we have Colada. We have Colada, Smeed, Zini, Hydro, and Lagoon. That's what it said in the description for this video. So go ahead and hit play and see what we got right here. Yeah, because I'm like, we have at least enough room for two more rappers. So unless it's Cat Spain for two minutes. All right, let's find out. Let's go. I'm the reptile spitting acid on the beat. Meltdown Johnny's cage, flipping Sonya in the sheets. Hydrochloric bars burning holes in the page. Long tongue rip your head off, oh, yeah. I'm screaming, let him bleed. I'm the predator ripping your spine out. Sniping the senator, moving in silence, political theater is played out. Y'all be laying face down, repping out the crew known as Rock Cassette. Slow down on the blues, this ain't Rock's sets. Grip up on my knife, making cuts when I shift moods. Praying for your life when my eyes turn to blood moons. Fueled up with hatred, like the snow goons. Need to hide a body, hit up 1 800 Lagoon. I'm in the pit and I punch through crowds. Set fire to the pulpit and none gets plowed. Liu Kang with the bike kick, Kung Fu Pow. Smoking weed on psilocybin, that's a mushroom cloud. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, oh, we know. Oh, who's yeah. Next. I forgot about John Shine. Yeah, Jones. My Luke bad. Shine. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right. You want me to be objective here on this one? I want you to be objective, but I also want you to appreciate that he kept the Mortal Kombat um, story through the whole flow. Yes, he did. I could appreciate that. Was That's where I was going to start. <laughs> I also want to say that his flow style reminded me of the late, great. Eric Easy E. Wright. Very old school type of cadence that a lot of times goes unappreciated. And he can, and he can, in that cadence, he can flip it to a little speed, then go back to the cadence without it actually interrupting anything that he's doing. Yeah, yeah. The question is that I've had is does it fit what we're doing? Does it fit with what we're doing? 
And where do we rank them because of that fit? That's where I'm stuck at in my brain. See, I, I actually enjoyed his verse. Okay. Um, as far as entertainment value goes. Yeah. Um, I like that he kept with the same subject line, and I like when he, you know, flipped it after the whole Johnny Cage, Sonya, Sonya thing. He went to a little speed, then went back to his original cadence. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give him a bonus for, the, you know, keep him on the same content. Yeah. I'm going to drop my man to eight right here. Okay. Okay. Eight, 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 eight. I, I'm gonna roll with you on that eight as well, and it's not a bad eight. So no, this is no. this, this is the part of the of the video where I tell people that uh, don't judge the eight by its cover. The eight is simply an eight only because of the people who you're on the track with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you're on the track with heavy hitters, you know what I'm saying. That we have See, to there have to be some parity. <laughs> there has to be some parity here. So my cat, if my cat, if this cat right here was on, say, Soda City Volume Five, I do believe it was. Maybe four. I'm sorry, four or five, one of the two. My man would have got annihilated. Yeah, yeah. It would have been a six. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. because of, of the talent that was coming off in that. Yeah. In that cipher. We can only right. we can only speak on this beat, this flow, yep. this content. So with but that said, this right here, he was dope. He was dope, and I like I like I liked him. Yeah, the content was amazing. Eight indeed. Eight and eight. Eighty-eight. So next, Michael Irvin, bitch, or Terry. So Glenn. next up, just don't do coke. Um, next. <laughs> Next up, we got Jones McShine. Jones McShine? McShine? Jones McShine. It sounds like somebody who would be in the Matt Hardy fucking family office. <laughs> Jones McShine. Jones of McShine. Right. <laughs> fucking Matt Hardy. All right, let's go, Jones McShine. What you got for me, bros? It's Mac again, I'm back again, ain't nothing changed, still traffic in. They think it's cap, I laugh at them, they couldn't move when I'm packaging. Think you will bump me, then go check the numbers. Not for streaming, what I got out the struggle. What they get, we been getting in double. What you see, don't compare to them duffels. Just like you heard, I've been putting in work. When it come to grinding, I'll go berserk. When it touch down, I touch it first. I'm dead ass like a butt in a hearse. Being frank, I'ma keep it a hundred. I'ma stretch it out until it's nothing. Pressure bust pipes, y'all need plumbing. Mad the chef, I'll be salting and onion. Everything you won't believe it, I'm with it. I saw me shine on your bitch's titty. Independent, I grind it, I get it. I'm my business, I ain't showing no pity. I fuck with Ain't got time for bitties. Fuck these bitches, I put on for my city. Put it together like well in the skillet. And I get it popping like oil in the skillet. I'm about that action. You ain't never gonna keep me relaxing. I don't even own a couch or a mattress. I'm out here working while settle for average. All of my losses have made me a savage. Ain't no telling what I'll do for a package. I'ma make up for all that they lagging. Biggest gas, got a stash and cast it on. Damn. Okay. So I'm happy my man brought it while wearing the mama jersey. Yeah, right? Oh, he he went that that was a 71 point It was a 71 point game. My man, my man spit like a motherfucker on that shit. Yeah, that shit was pretty raw. Pretty he said you, freaking he said raw. You dead ass like a button of hearse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay. I'm okay. sorry. I catch weird lines like that. <laughs> you say, so. Oh, that, that's for that. Just for that line, I'm gonna give him a nine. Easy. That's an easy yeah. fucking nine for me. Um, you know what? I would give him a nine five because he ripped the mama and he didn't disappoint with it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so, look. There you go. Look at you. Plus, a plus, with the name Jones McShine, that means he's un unapologetically Irish. My I man guess. said. My man said. He said, "I'm a McShine. I don't know your titties." <laughs> <laughs> that's not how this works. That, yeah. That's not how since, any of since, this works. Since it's your birthday, you get to pick a giveaway. See, you didn't give away anything at the beginning of the video. Uh, what, do got, what do you got around, Jay, you can give away? I will give away a 90% used bottle of Curve, ladies and gentlemen. 90% used bottle of Curve. All right, so so here's our rankings. We're going to tell you who gets that 10% of Curve, okay? <laughs> so our man Lagoon got that 16. Hydro Zini. Tied up with that 17. Kalada got that 18.5. Jones McShine got that 18.5. But the winner and the owner of the 10% of curve that Hollywood J. Black has used is Smeeg Scientist with a 19. Woo! Smeeg, baby. Smeeg, 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 Smeeg. Oh. So, in the diatribe that I usually go through on these, um, you know, Keep following these artists. This is real hip hop right here. If you wonder what, if you want to know where real hip hop is, just look right here. You ain't gotta go far. No. Blind mode cipher. Just put that shit in your search bar, and your whole world will open up to you. That's why I love cipher so much because in these ciphers, 
you know they give it 100 percent because any one of these ciphers can put you on a major label or a major mm-hmm. independent label if you don't believe us ask my man gibby stites and he will tell you just saying the attention in his talent level got him signed and sealed and delivered by magic ninja so sure. best believe it best believe it so with all that being said what i need y'all to do right now is like comment and subscribe ring a ling our bells baby just brrr, all up under there mm-hmm. and um let us know what else you want us to react to and um i hope you guys enjoy next week's wicked shit week and we will see you guys again real soon all right so until next time that's my man big sin I'm your boy, Hollywood J. Black. This is Sinful Black Reacts, and we are out this thing. Deuces.